Hello, dear friends. This is uh, Ewell Humphreys, and I'm glad to be with you and share with you another word. And I will speak to you very briefly on the marriage supper of the Lamb. The marriage supper of the Lamb. And may the Lord bless these few words to your heart in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Bible says in Revelation, in the uh, 22nd chapter of Revelation, I know this is in the 19th chapter of Revelation. Uh, John, the apostle of our Lord Jesus, was was on the island of Patmos. And he re was revealed to him the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. A wonderful revelation. And it's uh, in this chapter, the angel came unto John and said, Come with me, come with me, and I'm going to show you the marriage of the supper of the Lamb. And he said that the, uh, the supper is made up of the righteousness of the saints. And those that are invited to this supper, they, they make up the bride of, 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 the, of Christ. And Jesus is the bridegroom. And uh, he says that we are, will be blessed. Blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. We need to recognize that when we get to heaven, we're going to, in, in one sense, be as a, as a bridegroom, as Jesus Christ, and we will be the bride. The, the bride is, is uh, uh, made up of, of the church, of the Lord Jesus. And you that are members of that church, you that are part of Christ, you've accepted Christ, you believe in him, you know him as your Lord, then you're saved and saved forever, and you belong to God. There is no closer relationship on earth than a husband and a wife. They too become as one. And so in heaven, I don't believe there'll be a closer relation than the one that's saved by grace and the Lord Jesus Christ. Those that are saved by grace will make up the bride. Those that will come and I'll be with him forever, and he will be the bridegroom. Over in the book of Jeremiah, we read in the uh, third chapter, that he said, Know ye not that I'm married to you, saith the Lord. Know ye not that I'm married to you, saith the Lord. So, dear Christian, you, you are married to the Lord Jesus Christ. And praise God, I'm grateful for that. Spiritually, we're married to Christ. And that means that we're close to him. We love him and he loves us. And he is number one in our lives. He means more than anything else. In a marriage down here, the way to make a marriage last is to make it first. <laughs> and up there, it's going to be a wonderful time. And we will hear the word from the Lord. When the Bible says in Matthew 25, and the... Uh, and the kingdom of heaven is like uh, some virgins that were given and invited to become the bride of the bridegroom. The bride of the bridegroom. And then they will hear a voice saying, The bridegroom comes, go ye out to meet him. The bridegroom comes, go ye out to meet him. And that word's coming one day pretty soon. We're going to hear that word from, from heaven. We're going to hear the angels calling out. When they will praise God, the mountains shall move and the earth shall shake and the stars will fall and Jesus will come in his glory. And the voice will be heard from heaven to you that love the Lord. Go you out to meet him. You don't have to run and hide and be afraid. Go out to meet him. The bridegroom comes. The bridegroom comes for you. You're the bride. And so it's a time of joy. It's a time of coming together in a song and, a, and to know that all is well. And you walk by faith and you trust in God. Now just live down here knowing that you are part of the bride of the Lord Jesus. And that means he loves you very, very much. He loves you so much that only in all praise God. Eternity could reveal it and eternity will never end. And so trust the Lord. Down here, whatever you have to face, 
trust the Lord that you're going to be with him. And after all, you're still with him right down here. You just can't see him with your eye, but you're going to see him in that day when he comes from heaven. And right now, he's still with you. He's with you right where you are right now. And he's saying to you, trust me, I'm here. I love you. You cannot see me, but that's where you need faith. And the just shall live by faith and not by sight. And so you live to please God. You live to honor me. You live as a wife lives to, because she live, loves her husband. And she seeks to do those things that please him. And she is grateful for everything he does for her. And so there's a unity and there is a relationship between the wife and the husband that's closer and sweeter and better than any kind of relationship down here. And that relationship is going to be yours when you get home to heaven, to Christ, the bridegroom. Praise the Lord. Blessed be those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. I thank God for that, and I thank God for you. Let it be so that you walk by faith and trust in Him and know that all is well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like that little incident, a story was told, <laughs> had some humor to it, about the old country preacher was marrying this couple from the country, and he looked at the woman and said, do you take this man whom you hold by the hand for better or worse? And she looked at him and said, well, he can't be any worse. <laughs> and said, he's not going to get any better, so I'm going to just take him as he is. <laughs> But you know, that's the way the Lord looks on you and me. And not that we're not going to get better if we are. Not that we couldn't get any worse because we're not going to get worse. We're going to get better with him. But at the same time, he takes us as we are. Just as you are. That's the way he loves you. Amen. Hallelujah. I've told it often about the author of the old hymn, Just As I Am. Just As I Am. Charlotte Elliott wrote that hymn and she was attending this church. She was not a Christian. And the pastor said, Charlotte, why don't you come on in the church now and serve the Lord with us and you become a Christian. Accept Christ as your Lord. Oh, she said, Pastor, there's some things I'm doing I've got to quit doing. There's some things I've got to start doing if I'm going to be a Christian. And the pastor looked at her and said, Charlotte, he wants you just like you are. And then he'll take you and he'll go from there and build you what you ought to become. But he'll take you just as you are to start with. And Charlotte Eddie went home and got convicted and with that word and she, she accepted Christ as her Lord and Savior, believed in him and knew that she was saved. And she wrote that grand old hymn, Just As I Am. Just as I am without one plea, except thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Just as I am, oh, praise God. Just as I am, and waiting not to rid my soul of one dark blot. But trusting Christ, his blood to cleanse each spot. O Lamb of God, I come, I come. I praise God. The Lord loves you and he wants you now. And you that are Christians, live for him because you're part of the bride. And your bridegroom is waiting by the right time and then he's coming after you. And after me, he's coming after us. And the time is near. We don't know how, how long he'll be, but a few years is short compared to eternity. So we could safely say the time is near. Let the Lord bless you and lead you. Let him guide you in his life and in your life and let him show you the way to walk down here 
as his wife, as his bride, even as he, we will walk with him forever as his bride in heaven, heaven. So thank God for the blessing of God. The blessing of God have been so many. Now, if you need to pray a prayer with me, be sure you're going to heaven. I want you to pray a prayer like this and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. Amen and amen. Pray a prayer or something like that, and then find your good church and worship God with his people. And then to, to you that are Christians, I want you to know this. God loves you, and I love you. Amen. God be with you.